so I created this outer space sky replacement scene in After Effects a while ago and yesterday I posted the before after scene of this on reddit where I received an amazing feedback and uh, some of them asked me if I could make a tutorial on how I created this effect so in this video I'll show you a quick and easy way to replace the sky from your footage and uh, I used some stock elements from uh, rocket stock uh, if you want to follow along you can download them I will be uh, giving the link in the description so here I have <coughs> my footage I'll just drag them into After Effects so I'll be working with this base footage here so I'll create a new comp of this just drag it here and yeah now what I have to do is that I have to replace this guy you can do it in a lot of ways you can mask it frame by frame or rotoscope this lady and the ground and that is uh, quite hectic so I'll show you a quick easy way how to do it first I'll just drop these footage in here the sky footage and this okay now as you can see I have the sky footage which is actually four kids way big than my original footage so I'll scale all them down press SS on the S on the keyboard and it like this yeah it looks nice and I'll pre-comp all these pre-comp and rename this as BG for background okay now I'll go into the background and to look it more believable I'll just change the blending mode to make them blend in with each other sorry to screen this to screen as well only the top two I uh, change the blend mode to screen and the blue one is as it is okay so it looks more transparent and more galactic now I'll go back to my original comp and on this top uh, layer I'll uh, put an effect called color key you can search here color key in the effects panel if you can can't see your effects panel you need to go to window and effects and presets so color key here so with this color picker I have to pick the color which I want to remove so I want to remove this whole sky and it is having an uneven color the bluish and the whitish as well so I'll select something in the middle uh, here and I have to increase the tolerance now to remove it uh, from the background so as you can see I'll increase the tolerance it removes the color from the sky I'll keep going until my whole sky is invisible so at around this 157 yeah around 157 my whole sky is visible but as you can see my ground has become transparent as well because it was having uh, some of the colors which were present in the sky so to prevent this I'll duplicate this layer Control D or command D if you're using a Mac and I'll what I'll do is I'll just delete the color key effect on the top layer and I'll mask out the ground I'll use my pen tool and uh, I'll click here uh, click as far as you can because we have to do a lot of feathering in this to make it more blend you'll see and just go along the horizon of this footage just like this yep now what I'll do on the top layer I'll press mm to open my mask properties and I'll increase the feather to make a smooth transition between the two layers like this I'll go around this you can also play with the expansion I'll increase or decrease the expansion to make it more blend in with the scene increase more feather like this yes this looks good uh, as you can see there is little halo effect here on this lady as well so what you can do is you can uh, play with this uh, on this layer where I put the color effect you can play with the edge thin and edge feather like this it gives a more sharper look you can decrease you can increase the edge feather to make it more smooth 
yeah yeah this looks good okay now let me do a quick ramp through of this and we'll see how this looks uh, here is a little ramp through of this as you can see it's looking very good and to make it uh, more believable you can do an overall color grading in the premiere pro or in the after effects as well if you want to to match the foreground and background and uh, you can uh, do it with any footage having a nice clean uh, sky or background um, and you can also use uh, any other image or any animated image or any background in the sky if you have your own footage so that's pretty much it how to uh, replace the sky uh, yeah so thanks for watching